I'm Kim Peterson and I'm an associate professor. So I teach organic chemistry. I teach the intro organic chemistry sequence and then I teach an advanced organic chemistry class which is like some upper level undergraduates and graduate students. Okay, so we are organic chemists and we are interested in developing new methods to make molecules. So we try to make small molecules that have a specific geometry that could be used as like a piece in something bigger that might have an application as like a drug or some other sort of biological application. The main focus of my research group is on the development of these methods. And then what we try to do is put them out there um, and hope people read our papers who are making drugs or who are making polymers or who are making whatever um, and use our methods. What my students do is what you would think of a scientist, a chemist doing, which is mix chemicals, stir them, heat them, you know, they've got the round bottoms, they've got the Erlenmeyers, they've got the steam. I mean, it's sort of like exactly what you would picture a chemistry lab to look like. Organic chemistry is a big puzzle and you've got to sort of put the pieces together and make them fit and explain how it happens. You know, I hated memorizing. I was never very good at memorizing things and so but I, I loved puzzles and this was like the right fit for me. It let me sort of explore things creatively, problem solve creatively without having to just, what I felt like was just memorizing facts. I think advice I would have for students is find something that they're really interested in and that they can really dedicate um, a lot of their time and energy to because to be a successful researcher, to be a successful scientist is a huge investment and if you're not passionate about it, it's easy to sort of not put in the effort um, and it's a lot easier to put in all of that um, blood, sweat and tears as you will um, when you're really passionate about something.